Hello friends, today I thought I'll share my experience with the latest Dynamics 365 uh, field service app. As you could see, I have got the, the Dynamics 365 field service app, which is completely based on the Power app. Uh, and that's that's the future of, uh, of the field service app or any other uh, model driven app, I would say from the Dynamics 365 stack of technologies perspective. Looking at uh, the the app, the look and feel of it, as you could see, we have the, the dashboards, which pulls up all the information from the uh, field technician's uh, perspective. We also have the bookings. Here you could see all the bookings listed for, for this field technician. The activities, activities created against any work orders. In this, as you could see, there had been multiple uh, sessions remote assist call sessions which now has the capability to automatically post the the information against the work order that's what we are seeing here under my activities we have got the accounts we have got the contacts coming in from the dynamics 365 field service then from the field service perspective we have got the work orders wherein the field technician could pull up the work orders and start working on, on this with all sets of information, relevant information needed for this. We also have got the service tasks, which could be created on, uh, under this work order. Incidents could be created for further uh, troubleshooting or anything uh, of that sort. Same way, we have got the, the customer assets which I believe could be pretty useful when uh, to have some information when you are there in the in the field. As you would notice, we also have the barcode in here, which could be uh, tracked against this particular asset. What I've also done is I have got the three dimensional view of uh, this particular asset in this case, which is uh, one of the boards. What this could do is this could help me in in understanding uh, more information about the board and how I could interact and see what is there underneath, what is there on the top, and uh, you know, have information from all possible angles. This would help me out, uh, especially when I'm doing any sort of inspection or I'm doing any, any troubleshooting in the field. We also have the products, the information about the products, wherein I would what I would like to showcase here is one of the aspects from the scan perspective, which might come pretty handy. Uh, when uh, the field technician is there in the field and trying to work on it. What I'll do is I'll take the barcode uh, scanner and I'll try to scan this. What it does, it, it makes the, the sound as you would have also heard. And then this, this tracks the information and saves it against this particular product. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to save this uh, against this product or as an asset. And this goes into the system. As you would have seen, we have got the, uh, the notification at the top that this has been saved. We also could get the IoT alerts and the anomalies received from the IoT hub or the IoT central, along with the IoT devices, what we have registered in the field service against any of the, uh, the customers uh, to receive any IoT sensor information. So with this, I just wanted to highlight uh, the information, how it looks like, the latest app, and another Im very important aspect which you all would be very interested in, the offline capability of uh, this app. As I'm online, uh, it gives me an, op an option to turn, to go in offline mode and, and work on this. That's something what we could also define against what, uh, what entities or information related to those entities we could take offline. Thanks for watching.